Welcome back to Fast Money. Peloton topping the tape today. Shares climbing more than 20% after the company announced a new partnership with Amazon, marking the connected bike maker's first venture outside of direct-to-consumer sales. Amazon will offer the original Peloton bike, its strength product Peloton Glide, as well as some other branded accessories. But even with today's gain, the stock is down more than 90, 90% from its record high in January of 2021. Karen, let's trade it. Do you think shares deserve to be up 20% on this news? just selling accessories through Amazon and the bike itself, of course. Well, I guess I look at it a different way. It's up like, I don't know what, a buck, 80. I don't know where it there ended up go. closing. So that's not such a big move. I mean, good for that. He's doing all the right things. Just, I don't know if you know the, you know, the saying when a uh, great management team combines with a mediocre company, it's the reputation of the company that remains intact. He's doing all the right things, but I just, you know, I, I feel like their, their sort of time has come and gone, and now the bike is sort of commoditized, and um, I guess there's a lot of value in the subscription somewhere there, but uh, I don't know. For me, it's a, it's a no touch. No touch. Okay. Julie, what do you think about this move? Does this make the more valuable, reachable to more consumers? Apparently, they had some crazy amount of search on Amazon for Peloton anyway, so people were already looking there for it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this is a company that struggles with brand recognition, right? It's not like I'm like, oh, what bike? Like, it's not like I have a hard time finding it. And that's really what Amazon is so good at is aggregating information for you to discover new brands or discover new devices or God knows what, really. Um, so I, to me, it doesn't actually, it, you're expanding your distribution, but you're losing control of your distribution. And so much of what mm. made Peloton really special was that high level, high touch service. So. This, to me, reeks of the desperation of the end of this cycle of, of this business. Fascinating. That is actually a very interesting point. I went to buying like a flat extension cord the other day. I don't really care what the brand is, right? Kind of a commoditized product. That's what I go to Amazon for. Meanwhile, we're keeping an eye on SoFi after the Biden administration confirmed its student debt forgiveness plan, canceling $10,000 in federal loans for most borrowers and extending the pause on repayments to 2023. So by the end of the second quarter, student loans accounted for nearly 40% of SoFi's total loan portfolio. Shares of SoFi rose 4.5% today. So what does the latest update on repayments mean for the lender? Dan, I've been thinking about this one all day yeah. long, and there's a lot of threads to pull on this. I, but what are your thoughts here? Yeah, no, it's a confusing one. I think it's been an overhang for the story here. So I think the clarity is probably good news. And it also comes on a day where there was a huge block that traded um, nearly 30 million shares down at $6.10. I think that, um, you know, since SoFi said that they are, excuse me, since SoftBank a couple weeks ago said they're going to sell some or most or all of their stake, they're the second largest holder, that's also been an overhang here. So all of a sudden now you get a bit more clarity here. It's probably um, SoftBank selling here. Um, that being said, you know, I remember when we were talking about the SoftBank um, headline a couple weeks ago, I said, you know, this thing probably gets back towards its lows near five bucks before it's all said and done. So there's probably no big rush here on this one. OK, that makes sense to me. Tim, what do you think about SoFi here? Anything with today's announcement and the clarity therein change your thesis? No, I, I look, I think, that, you know, this is clarity. This is helpful. Um, there's a, I don't know, a, a 14 percent short interest in the stock that, that is, is probably higher, actually, than the last reports I saw. So I think that's a dynamic. It, some of the themes that we've, we've all addressed tonight, though, are, are consumer credit oriented. And I, I just mm -hmm. think uh, combine that with the high multiple tech dynamic and the fintech dynamic that may not be all that, um, you know, may not be all that unique relative to other even bigger legacy players. I, I, I actually think it's a very interesting business. I, I just think as a stock right here, um, it, it's something that I, I'm not, uh, I'm, there's no FOMO uh, that you now actually have gotten through all of these headwinds.